So like the having you not be able to skip the cutscenes kind of makes some sense. How many chat? I don't want to look. I don't want to look at how many chapters there are, but I feel like we're like getting close to the end. Like we probably there's probably five chapters. Yeah. Okay. Previously on the Walking Dead. <gasps> it's Lee. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I don't know. That sounds like a you problem. I honestly don't give a fuck. I wasn't truthful when I came across you in the lodge. Now folks are dead. And I can't help but feel I'm to blame. <laughs> Fucker. Can't even slow his eye. Fuck. No! Rip. No! Stop me! <laughs> Kenny! Kenny! When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all Man, over. gonna end up spoiling it. Tell you, from one of them. you just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Rip. Go on. You don't need to see this. I don't know why no, Kenny didn't anywhere. just, or why Carver didn't take his gun out. Damn, you get to see it all over again. Here we go, the slow mo of the fucking arm being eaten. He's like, "Say, girl, let me, let me fucking bite that arm." I got one of those little hatchets. I don't know what they're for exactly, but I got one of them. Come. I hope emo only this. Uh, don't spoil it because Danny's going to get mad. Shouldn't have, it, it can't. It can't. Rip, she died anyway. Fuck, she died anyway? Da bro! Jesus Christ. She fucking died anyway. Oh, fuck. I didn't think she was gonna die like that. Just right off the rip. I guess it makes sense she wasn't in the, the cutscene. Oh, fuck. Oh, God damn it. Bro, let her die. She's dead, man. Leave her alone. She was bit. I had to do it. Fucking dare you, Clementine! I'm giving you one, Kenny. Kenny, I won't be left alone again. We're gonna, we're gonna get out. I want to do it. It's not what Clementine would do, but I want to do it to see what would happen. I want it. It said to axe her. It said to axe her, bro. Like, I want to do it so bad, and then just revert, right? You know, it's like the, it's like the quick save. You know, you're playing an RPG and you see a big ass boss. You're like, all right, quick save, save real quick, go in, get your ass kicked, revert back. I want to do that. I didn't axe her, but I'm intrigued to see what would happen. Also, still mad Carlos died. Like, I want. Do we axe? Do we axe her? Hang on. Let me let me do a, let me do a poll real quick. Uh, new poll. Axe. Yeah, yeah, and nah. Uh, there we go. Pull up. Pull up. Educational purposes. Educational purposes. This is a you vote. This is a you vote. Nah, Nas are winning. Nas are winning right now. Nas are winning. It's tied up. 50-50. It's tied up. Y'all are going to make me choose, aren't you? What the fuck? No. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Would you want someone doing that to you? Bro, I need to get Kenny. Do it for the culture. I need to get Kenny to get the fuck out of here. Right? She's dead regardless. I don't want her coming back, right? I'm looking out for you, Kenny. I'll spin this. Taking away your decision. I, I, first off, I need Kenny. She's already dead. And does she want to come back as one of those things? Don't think so. I'd rather be axed than eaten. In fact, he will hate you. Kenny won't leave because you chop her head off. In fact, he will hate you. 
pretty sure. I really want to see what happens, though. I, like, really want to see it. It's not the option I would choose, though. Yo, yo's are winning. Yo's are winning. Bruh. Bruh. It's, it's, it's close. It's close. Oh, it's tied. It's tied. For curiosity, you're ruining this story, story for curiosity? I mean, regardless, the story's gonna play out. Danny let him be? Oh my god. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's how it's gonna end. I'm pretty sure. Unless somebody's holding like a vote in their back pocket in the last... Google it if you're curious. Google it if you're curious. Oh, fuck, dude. Uh, you better hope Nas win. You better hope somebody's somebody's voting in with a Nas. All right, you guys voted exactly the same. You guys are no fun. You just said you know Clem wouldn't do that. That's fair. Clem wouldn't do that. She wouldn't ask. She wouldn't ask uh, her. So we can't do it. Fuck! I really, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google it though. I'm gonna Google it and see what the reaction is after this. So the answer is no. Then fuck. Okay, you drive a hard bargain, nuts. But I don't even, I don't even remember what the fucking options were at this point. Like I don't know if I have enough time to do this. What are the options? Fuck! I was scared. So, fuckers are saying you're gonna be fine. She's already dead. You have to leave her. I'm sorry. I love you. Kenny! Damn it, man! Come on! No right by the time. No fucking right! Behind you. I can't fucking hit it. Oh shit, down. Who should die? Start moving again. Oh shit, I fucking. I was reading chat and I died. I literally looked over to read chat and I fucking died. But if he didn't do it, he'd be pissed at you not trying to help her? Exactly. Fuck. Is that what you wanted, Kenny? You fucking win. I died. This fucking guy. I gotta fucking do this shit. Here we go. Cut that off. Do the down. Dodged. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck Sarah, most wor <laughs> yeah, she's pretty worthless. What's up with that moon? Why is that like a fucking like That's no moon. Don't be giving birth right fucking now.
Oh shit, I can't. If you like cutting people's limbs off and then watch them die and then someone berates you, be sure to give the channel a follow. Shut up! Stop. Relax. You need to walk slowly. You'll be fine. I can't do this. You have to help us. We can't come together like this. It's better if we spread out. You two will be fine. No, you don't understand. Just help us. You think we should spread out? We'll spread, spread out. out. Run with the baby on my own. I'm Shut sick. up. Walk slow. You run, you die. Come on. Walk. No running, bitch. We'll have to push through that cluster of walkers. There's too many. We'll make a cow catcher. Just... We need... Okay, just tell me what to do. There. That one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. Hello, lady? Hello? Uh... Excuse me. What is that noise? There we go. Anybody now, are you? Follow me. Stay close. If you fall behind, I can't come back for you. Don't fall behind. I'm going. This is smart. Suppose she, uh, that's exactly what Michonne does. Michonne has two of them and they're tied to her. Let's go. Their own special pet. Except she went further. She cut off their arms. She cut off their arms and their mouth. Jason Latino. Is everything all right? No, I'm not all right. But I'll be a lot better once we get with the others. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? Well, honestly, I have to catch the rest of the VOD tomorrow. Enjoy episode four. All right. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping in, Gare. We gotta keep going. Don't worry. We're okay. We'll meet up with everyone soon. We'll at least be safe, I guess. We need to keep up a good pace. No, I know. Just, I'm going as fast as I can. I know I should feel glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. Jane saved us. I don't know how we would have gotten out without you. You don't give yourself enough credit. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course! We panicked! We were scared! The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? It was. No, no that's not what I'm saying. It was. I was saying it. Just Sorry, my bad. <gasps> this lady about to give birth right fucking here. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. 
Take a minute. Even your baby agreed? <laughs> and I was. <laughs> Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Kenny might know what to do. He had a family. Let's hope he made it to the meetup point then. And the zombie baby comes out. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just... Making conversation. It was what do you nothing. Mean by that? No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. Guys, that baby is coming, like it or not. Fine. And then what? It's going to be helpless, and you can't protect it. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Well, Just you... because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself. Not to be fair, Rebecca, but can I interject really quick? You can't even take care of your own damn self. There's no way you're taking care of you and a baby. Doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? Damn. Okay. I don't need your pity. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. Jane, wait! Oh, damn it. Way to go. Way to go, lady. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long, we were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides. Now, hopefully we can figure out a plan. How's Kenny? I tried to talk to Kenny, he flipped out on me. He started yelling. Scary shit. I know, he probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. It was scary. Where's the mic? I said, hey, Jess. Hope you're feeling better. I've been nervous to even go near him. What? You think he's going to shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. I've seen Kenny like this before. Do you think he'll, I don't know, snap out of it? Maybe, but probably not. Not anytime soon. I don't know. Clem? I was thinking now that you're here, maybe you could go talk. Yeah, I'll go do everything for you. Okay. I feel like I got ran over by a truck. Sarita, God, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. Kenny, don't you fucking do Hi, it. Kenny. Hi. Uh, You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? What's wrong with Kenny? Why is Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. I mean, Kenny, you are, uh... I'm just worried, worried about you. Worried, huh? Well, that's nice of you, seeing as this was your fault in the first place. Oh, is that so? Being angry won't help anything. No, because it sure as hell helping me. I'm sure I'm glad, Kenny. I should have put an axe in your fucking head. I tried to save her. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works. Not for the last time. Just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. Kenny, you can uh, just suck a giant dick. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how'd it go? Hmm. Okay. 
And he's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. That man's going through. At least you try. Still, he's unhinged. He exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water. It's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands too. What, suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? We should go find Luke and Sarah. If they're in trouble, we might be able to help them. Clementine's right. After everything, after all this, if there's any chance they're still alive, we need to take it. We gotta take it, boys. I'll go. Clem can come with me. Finally. I go with somebody competent. One girl was like a badass and she had a sister get separated from. Uh, I don't think it's her. Her name should be Danny. I told you he's unhinged. Listen, Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. God damn, she's gonna me too. I don't know, but you better keep that close. I don't really give a shit. Come on, Clem. Neighbors are scary. It's true. Fallen but never forgotten. If Luke is her because of Sarah, I would vote that we kick her ass. Look, I'm gonna level with you. You should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. It didn't look good. You're probably right. Yeah. So, I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart. But I still... She gotta I warn me. Gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start... You know, bad stuff happens to you when you're alone, too. But your odds are better. There's are they? nobody to watch your back. And when something does happen... There's nobody there to help you. How much help is Kenny gonna be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. Retirement center. And Rebecca's no teeth to bite. <laughs> is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. Have you just kept to yourself this whole time? Of course not. But sometimes you gotta learn the hard way. I'm trying to save you that trouble. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could've. Damn. Rest in peace, Jamie. What... what happened to your sister? <laughs> Seems we always want to talk about the end, don't we? You know, being a big sister is... well, it's funny. I wouldn't know. No, I've never been a big sister. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. Damn. I, mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No, no. It's not all bad. But what could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. It's lame. Wow. Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there. And I'd I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Damn. Just That's fucking cold, Jane. That's fucking cold. <sighs> All right. Jackpot. 
bet these walkers got some good stuff. Yeah, we should check them out. But you know why, right? No. Only because they're fresh. Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. Damn, right in the eyeball. That one's not coming back. Let's see what else he's got. I'll check this one. To a screwdriver? God damn! Bullets? Hey, that's not bad. Hold on to him. Ammo's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. About to be Metro. About to start trading for bullets here. Damn. John Sandusky. Find anything? Driver's licenses. Two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? Yes, it is true. You fit in there, but you weren't like them. It makes me wonder. I was with a different group before. That one worked better, I think. That was when I got my hair cut like this. That's Did not it. piss off Night Rogue. <laughs> hey, we got a file. A nail file. They Let's go. Great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. Could jab my hand when I went reaching in. Damn, I'm a good noodle. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to do this thing. There's too many snaps and Z's and necking and. Can never be too sure with these things. Here, give hit me my hand. door and put a hole through it. Damn. Oh, glasses. We found them. These glasses, they're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, Clem. Don't go I chasing waterfalls. Say, but... Yeah, Sarah. God damn. Shit. Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like there's an opening over there. I mean, there's an opening right there, but yeah, this is bigger. Look, we're going to go do this, but it might not turn out the way you want it to. Are you prepared for what you might find in there? I think I am. Yes. I hope so. They might not be dead, but that might be worse. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's going to get you killed. Here, use this. Damn. Effective. We can do this. I don't know how dual wield. I have a fucking ice pick in one hand and a hatchet in the other. Calm down. They don't sound too good. Clock is ticking. I'm ready. I know you are. We need to get a better look. She, she's like Lee. How about you get the close one and I'll hop the fence to get the other? Out of it. Go for it. <laughs> Damn it, right in the fucking eye. Come on, let's go. Nice work. You know what dramatic you're sister the worst. Now watch this. I don't know anything about having a dramatic sister. Got a nice little addition to your arsenal. Take out the knees first, then put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. All right, let's get a look at what we've got on deck. It's gonna take some work to get over there. 
Oh shit. There's this guy right here. This fucking guy. What do you want me to do? Oh, damn, now she's struggling. Hi, it's me. Oh shit. God got his ass. Got him. Easy dog. Nice trick, huh? Nice trick. Well, this was so bad. I'm not saying that from my perspective. My sister and I talked kind of recently about it, and she's so she used to do get me in trouble. Was pretty bad. A lot of walkers. They look worked up about something. And what gets the interest of the dead? People. How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers over here. Then and then we, we could stab them. Be able to go through that other we could stab them in the head as they're reaching over. What do you think of that? I think that's best. I'm with you. Good. What's going to grab their attention? The car horn? I got you covered. What can I do, Sarah? We're gonna get up and go. Damn it, don't do this. That's good, but we need to keep it going somehow. <laughs> One guy's jawless. Sarah probably got bit and needs the amputation. Reminds me of that uh, yeah. level in uh, Back for Blood. That's not gonna work. No, no, no. He is jawless. What is he gonna do? He can hold you down, I suppose. All right, I need some sort of. Let's see. This guy's got something of it. Just listen to me. What are you thinking? Let's put him on the horn. Lean him on the horn. It'll keep honking and some flawless the hair. Just like moths to a flame. Why are you being like this? Give me a hand. <sighs> Goddamn, guy missing a fucking leg. Come on, buddy. You're going for your last ride. There we go. Gotta love sibling relationships. I'm more of an only child, I suppose. It's true. Danny's siblings are older than my parents. Oh shit. They're like, I wanna get to the truck. Behind us, behind us. Behind us. Bro, okay, fucking go for the knee. Go the back of the head. Come on. Sarah, what the hell? Look at them. How'd the zombie get out? Crap. We gotta move it. How'd the zombie get out? What the fuck? Else. You're gonna need to use more force than that. Put some muscle into it. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. Uh. Hurry! Clem just kicked in a door, by the way. Now that we broke the. Help me block this. Broke Hurry. the door. They're definitely gonna be able to fucking break it open. Steal his bandana. Oh shit. Fuck. God damn it, dude. Ugh. I die so much like when I look over at the other chat. When I, when I fucking look over, I die all the time. Help me block this. Hurry. There we go. Rip. Please. Who's out there? Luke. Clem? Oh, thank God. I can't believe he found us. When I heard y'all banging through the door... Luke, where's Sarah? I... I don't know what to do about her. 
What's the matter? Luke, do you look bit? You gotta help. You look bit, Luke. Luke, are you gonna die? Sarah, look. Look, it's Clem. See, it's just like I told you. They're, they're okay. Sarah, come on. We, we have to go now. Was she bitten? Did they get her? No, she ain't bit. She's just... Yeah. In a state of shock. I what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I, I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know. It was just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then while well, she saw this mobile home, made a beeline right for her. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? We gotta do something. Maybe she'll listen to me. I doubt it. We've been kind of addicted this whole time. Listen, I uh. Slap her. They're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So we we gotta get her up, or, or we gotta. Well, I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I can barely get her to look at me. Clem? I'm gonna try, but... Sarah, it's me. Hi. Let's go. I'm just gonna hug her. See what happens. <laughs> okay, it doesn't work. feelings in the world ever since the walkers so many people i know have died people i love and for stupid reasons crap we're surrounded what what about the skylight oh we got clem there's no time she, if we clem. save her here listen jane might be right we can't be kids anymore sarah you need to grow up, or you'll die. There aren't any other choices. Get to the skylight, now! Come on, I'll boost you. What's going on back there? My ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke, get over here and help me hold this. She's gonna get bit. See what you can find. Can we use this? It's not big enough. The fridge. Forget it. That thing ain't budging. Find something else. The thing that you guys are holding? Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What? Oh, shit. Okay. Ready? On three. One, two, three. Come on. Jesus, how many times I gotta push this button? Clem! Clem, help her! Help Jane! Okay, go! Go! Keep pushing! Go! Come on! Come on, boys! Keep clicking! Look at her crawl after me! Close the door. Lock that bitch. Luke, you first. We need you up top. Gonna have to leave her. Okay, come on. Clem. Sarah, we have to go. Are you listening? Now, Clementine. If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her. Don't let her take you down too. Not again. She's ex she's useless. Rip. Bye, bitch. We didn't Damn. have a choice. Okay, there was nothing we could do. There was, there was nothing we could do. No, Clem wouldn't have died. Uh, Jane would have died. Jane would have helped her up and then they would have came in and got Jane.
I'm, I'm like 90% certain that's what would happen. If not, oh well. About Sarah, I, uh, I didn't think you'd leave her. I mean, it's hard to think about. We didn't have a choice. She wouldn't have come with us. It may be hard to hear, but you weren't going to be able to save her. She was never snapped going to out of like she world. did. It may be. My guess is that she would have she would have got Jane killed. Yeah, I guess. I guess there was just nothing we could do. I tried so hard to get through to her. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just, I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I, I don't mean to sound harsh. It's okay, I get it. Things aren't always... <laughs> Sounds so awful, yeah. Trust me, I tried to save Jamie too. But she gave up. Rip, rip, Jamie. And when you really look at it, maybe it's better this way. Maybe. For everyone. Maybe it's Maybelline. We were there for hours. You know, I should have gotten through to her. I should have done something. All I did was leave her behind. You didn't, Luke. You're good. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Apparently she would have died either way. Well, okay. I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her. Or push her. Or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time... Walkers cornered us. Forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I... I couldn't make her jump. Couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted, and I left her there. Damn. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? Jane, I'm really sorry. It killed me for a long time, but I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell, when all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. Sarah wasn't Jamie. She wanted to make it. She just couldn't. Then maybe she didn't really want it. That's fair. Come on. Let's get back to your friends. Son of a bitch. You found him. Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Wait, where's Sarah? She died. <sighs> uh, Rebecca, how about we uh we go for a walk? For yeah. Me? True. That's fair. Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about too. No. No. <laughs> Sometimes the sound sounds like it's coming from somewhere else. It's very weird. This. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know. Does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Kenny had a family. He could help. Where is he? Where the hell's Kenny? He went in there after you left. Said he needed a minute by himself. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. I've seen him like this before. That's why I was thinking you could talk to him. <laughs> it's I all think going if again. It's just you. Someone he knows well. 
You might be able to get through. She's gonna get mad at me again. I wouldn't ask you to do it if it weren't for the baby. Parker's <sighs> Run Memorial Museum. Can I look at anything else? Yeah, very true. I can't imagine how hard it would be to try to find the line of good parenting and trying to help your child in a world like this. I just get shot immediately. And he's not in here. Oh, he's never mind. I thought Kenny just ran away. I wanted to check on you. Make sure you're okay. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. A little peaceful. bit. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck. Katja. Sarita. No peace. No rest. The punches just keep coming. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That's not true. You help me all the time. I need you. Hmm. I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. That's true. That's true. But, uh, thanks for saying that. Now, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. Don't be stupid. It could be infected. Ooh. It's all squishy. Well, this is so bad for Kenny. Jesus I mean, Lord. Lost his wife and kid, then found another what lady's. Sent fell over there and just after literally ripped a rip from him. Yeah. We should see what's going on. It's rough out there for Kenny. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. Oh, wait. Come on, lady. Why you gotta... Rebecca's water broke. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. That means the baby's coming, right? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right. All right. Give me a second. Come on. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her too. Now you got no choice. What? Why you gotta say it like that? They'll be able to fucking smell her too? Bro, we out here trying to play video game. Goddamn. Fucking what the fuck? Boys, but to lock down and ride it out. It hurts more than before. Is something wrong? What should we do first, Kenny? Kenny, come on, you gotta focus. Right, right, sorry. Clean water for one thing, and blankets. And we gotta Red Dead Week. <laughs> that map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go it with It just her? stops. I'll check the building by the river. Yeah, okay. you're so stressed it just Kenny, stops. You uh you stick with Rebecca and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Clem. I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mike a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? We don't. Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? What do, what do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. 
And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I don't know if Jane will come back. I think she's scared about the baby. That's what I was afraid of. That's why it might be a good idea to have you go with her. Just something to think about. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? Maybe I should go with Jane. Better hurry Is it she runs off? I don't know. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be Strength fast. in numbers, right? Let's be careful. I don't like I don't like fucking Bonnie. Prison mic is nice enough though. You people have been going saying go solo, right? Oh, hey. Hey, yeah, how's it going? Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a lot's happened today. And so I much. I don't know if... Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. Partner, don't let it get to your head. Let's go. Damn. I thought we were gonna be best friends I or hope something. This place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. Builder sisterly side if it lets you. Okay, person sitting in my chat room watching me play in my stream. Why don't I do what you just say? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Check this out. This gate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Brown muffin, brown muffin, Who brown muffin. In there? Maybe there's still food. Do you think you can pick the lock? I should be able to figure something out. Sue Streamer for Rosh on it. Work. It's a <laughs> night rogue. It's, it's Tim the Tatman's old intro. The nail file? Versatility is not overrated. You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Cannon. We nothing's bigger than a cannon, right? You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. <laughs> Found the observation deck. All right, we made it. They fill them with cement, so they're safe. Damn. Is that only seen of his where there's a few little short clothes on Dr. Disrespect, pretty much like an old married couple. I used to watch like Tim's videos because YouTube is superior to Twitch. Which, by the way, thank you for everybody watching. I appreciate y'all being here. <laughs> Just the ability to like pause video is great. Find anything? No, not even trash. Not even trash. Anything else? I feel like How can I help? If you can find anything to help me get this open faster, that'd be great. Take a look around. Take a look around, looking for something to let me in.
are some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in Hey, who's place. coming here? Keep it in mind, though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. We're gonna I blast know this guy. Friends nearby. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around. Why is he coming up here? No idea. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. We should just try and stay out of sight till he's gone. Good call. Shit. Hide now. As if they wouldn't have hurt, he wouldn't have hurt us. Oh my god, it's Tiny Tim. Squeaky Tim. Can I just let him do his thing? Like, do I have to? I don't want to talk to him. Okay, cool. Shit. He's going to shoot me. Do you understand me? Yes. Money in that bag, he's Russian. I am Arvo. Hello, Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially Malinka Devochka. Little girl. Okay, I'm leaving. I'll leave you alone. Okay. I am not going. <gasps> Back up. Put the bag down. Got like a zombie head in it. Clem. Make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. No, I have no more guns. I swear. Anything? Painkillers, baby. Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry and that makes those things come. Please. If that medicine's for your sister, why are you hiding it in the garbage? I, uh, I need to keep it, I need to keep it safe. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. Damn poor Arvo. You Arva. already left me defenseless and now you... You take my sister's medicine? You are worried. Hey, we've got people who are suffering. Who need this medicine? Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need people that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Clementine, yes, you must We don't believe, believe a fucking word about your sick Please sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're just take a it. junkie. You know what that word means, huh? I'm sorry, Arvo. We need these. This is gonna come back to bite me in the ass. You fish. You couldn't done this. This is gonna bite me in the ass. I would have just taken some of it. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Just let me go. Jane, don't do it. Shooting's don't too loud. Ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. If she stabbed him, I probably would have let him do it, but shooting a gun seems I believe pointless. I've gotten into this mess. Taking some stupid kid's stuff. Like a bandit. We should go get everyone else. Yeah. Go bring those meds to the others and bring everybody back here. I'm gonna get this place open, and we need to get moved in ASAP. 
She's not gonna be here. Fuck me over some other way? Yeah, that's probably true. Clem! Clem, hey! Any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from me in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. God knows we could use a break. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop and a stranger showed up. He had a lot of medicine. So we took some. What? You robbed him? Seriously? You stole meds from somebody? Rebecca needs them. I know, but... Where is this guy now? Jane took his gun and chased him off. Why are they I so surprised? Really rubbed off on you. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah, she's trying to get the gift shop <laughs> opened. You know, I can't figure her out. I wouldn't be surprised. Some. She really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm never quite sure if she just done like people, or just plain out done like me. I'm still not sure what to think about her. She's strong, and she's been helping us, but she's cold. Maybe, but nobody's that cold. I'm definitely starting to think we might need to branch out. What do you mean? Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just, he seems broken. And broken people get reckless. Watch out for crush on you. got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. But I just think he's had to take more than he can handle. You're wrong. Kenny's stronger than anyone. He tries to protect us. I don't know, Clem. I used to think that maybe all the horror hadn't gotten to you yet. But you watched your friend murder Carver. Not just kill him, but... Clem, you didn't even blink. How do you know? You weren't even there. Carver deserved what happened to him. He was a bad man. No question about that. I'm just hoping we don't become the same. Oh, we will. We will. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. This entire conversation is annoying me. Damn. I have a feeling that it's going to come back to bite me in the ass. I'm not supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. That's true. Clementine. What'd you find? The building around back has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. It's high up, so it should be safe from walkers. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. Alvin would be really proud of you right now. You think so? I don't know. I only knew him for like 10 minutes before I got him killed. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? We'll all help you keep the baby safe. Oh, yeah? You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this. Oh, baby. I don't give a shit about your baby. <sighs> Oh shit. I got this. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while, and I'm not saying I don't trust him, but I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on him. Yeah, going ahead. I'll be fine. <sighs> Are you okay, Kenny? Sure. Why wouldn't I be?
Bonnie better be getting frisky with prison. Better not be getting frisky with prison, Mike. Only 1.2 miles. General G. Bullock. Reached the museum. Hey, Clem. I thought you went with Jane. She didn't take off, did she? We found a place for Rebecca to have the baby. An observation deck with a gift shop. It's way up high and pretty safe from the wind. Oh, that's great. Just give me like ten more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty-handed. What? I just want to help. Don't get bit, Prison Mike. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I watch this side, you watch the other. Deal. Good man, James Prison Mike. These don't work anymore. Nah, they're just for show. Be handy though. Also, really loud. Good point. But imagine how many walkers you could take out with a cannonball. Souvenirs, huh? Looking for a keychain with your name on it? No. Why would I want a keychain? I don't even have any keys. Ah, oh, good point. Handy in defense. Bonnie asking the stupid questions. She out here asking the stupid questions. You think maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? Oh, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you didn't have to come, come with me. No, I wanted to. Never mind. She's trying so hard to get in Clem's... Yeah, I know. She's trying way too hard. But I don't like Bonnie. There have sure been some animals through here. Watch where you step. Lee would have loved this place. It's true, Lee. No, not so much. Lee did Unless love history. Hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's going to get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. Kenny said we need blankets. It's not really a blanket, but... But it should do the trick. Good call. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad. Looking at the keychains and found a prison mic keychain. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Shut Not up. I blame you if you do. I haven't always used the best judgment. You've got a lot to make up for. Yeah, that's true. Clem found a jacket. He's the best damn gift he's ever gotten. Right, but uh, isn't great to, <laughs> you know... Uh, we can't put Rebecca in a confederate coat. That's kind of, yeah, it's kind of fucked. We can't do that. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing, though. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> I tell you. I sure don't like being near a graveyard with the world the way it is now. The way things are now, you're in a graveyard all the time. Yeah, true enough. Over here. I'm not even going to say it. Stream elements. I'm not Water. even going to say it. Bottled and clean. That's just what we need. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. Turns out there's I a zombie inside. I open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. All right. All right. I'll go. Thanks, Clem. Just open the door from the other side. Michael carry those things out. Might be yeah, she could just reach through. 
Anybody could do it. They could just reach through. They don't have to have Clem go all the way in. I'm stuck. Okay. Maybe I push from... <gasps> knew it. I knew it. I knew there was a zombie in there. Goddamn prison Mike. Goddamn prison Mike. Well, that happened. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, no problem. I'm can't... so sorry about that, Clementine. Again. We should have been more careful. Fuck off, Bonnie. I guess that makes one more thing I've got to make up for. At least now we got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. Bonnie, you do you know how heavy? Do you know how heavy a bottle of water is? Like like the, 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 the isn't it like a gallon of water like eight pounds or some shit? How many gallons of water do you think that is? It's like eighty pounds. The, uh, 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 I'm an eleven year old girl. There's no way Clementine picks this up. Yeah, she I can't literally cannot pick it up. It's as far up as you can go. I got this. Way to go. Damn, prison Mike is yoked. My man is carrying 160 pounds of water. That looks pretty heavy. Uh, that's alright. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shells were always full. We're going to have to be conservative as hell. You're right. I thought it looked like so much. That baby's going to be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys. Well, we found a wagon. Come on. Stick close. <gasps> it's a pepper. Man, like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat raccoon. I need the shit out of that raccoon. Goddamn prison, Mike. Not like, I mean, just just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. <laughs> I am starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Yeah. Oh God. Shoot! Don't let it get away. Where is it? I think it went over there. Over here. I love him. Look at him. He's cute. Shit! Shoot! Dang it! Oh my god, this is so sad. Run, Skip, run. Oh, it has babies! I'm even hungrier than I was before. How did I get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon? Well... I'm sort of glad it got away. It had a family. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. We don't have much time to wait. Fucking, fucking Pippa's out there. I almost shot the Pippa. You're telling me your arms ain't tired? Nope. Are you just saying that because he's black? No! No! Shit, shit. Oh, God. Breathe like I told you. Okay, 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 okay. Oh shit, shut up. Oh god. Oh god. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Shit, walkers. How do they get that close without anyone seeing them? This my skipper. Kenny, we've gotta do something. You just keep that baby safe. Kenny, we can't stay here. Clementine, where's the place you and Jane found? I'll show you. Good. Someone help me up. Oh God, there's so many. Mike, the water. On it. I'm not risking Mike. I'm not risking Mike. We know Ken <laughs> Kenny ain't gonna die. Kenny got that fucking, he's got that rage. You know what I mean? He's got the Kratos rage. That man is not gonna die. Zeus himself couldn't take him out. I 
think he's okay. He's losing it. I mean, that... That isn't... We just need to get out of here. But... He's like five. He's at five thousand. Also, how's this thing alive? Damn it! Was that Elvis? Did they leave the other water? I think, I think they might have. Sorry, they can go back for it. it was about as human as I've felt in a long time. I almost forgot what Clementine. They were doing it. Clem, it's just not. Um, What's going on? Well, it was banging. Uh, I mean, in here. They was banging. Caught him. What the fuck are you two doing up here, Kenny? What's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a second. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. Rebecca's having the baby. The naked Scrabble. No! Bumping uglies. Shit. Right over here. Shit. Uh, oh God, oh there God. you go. Just oh. rat it out. Uh, I have pills. I think they'll help with the pain. What are they? Looks like Oxy. I want them. Wait, wait. Is that okay for a pregnant lady? Give me the fucking pills. It's like Oxy. You see a fucking... She was ready for that shit. She wanted it. They're coming up the stairs. Here. Uh, we should. You want to help. Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs. Shoot them before they get to us. Shit, that's a lot of them. We need everyone out here. I'm going outside. I'll help pull them back. Go. I've got Rebecca. Here they come. Here. We can't let them up here. Mike. That's a big boy. There are too many of them. Shit. Keep shooting. They are not Just start stabbing here. them through the fucking thing. That's what I said. Stab him through the holes. No, Mike. We could block the gate with this. I'll help. I'm coming. What if it worked, though? Together. Ready? Oh shit! Holy oh shit! Mike. What the fuck is going on out there? Mike. We gotta go. Oh, Mike's alive. Mike's alive. Uh, fuck. Fuck, hurry. I can't hold on. Take my hand. Push. Push, woman. Push. They're climbing up. What? They're going to make it up here. How the fuck are they going to make it up? Shit ever end? Nothing that will stop her. Maybe we can drop the whole deck. She's right. She's right. Drop the whole deck. Drop the... Are you fucking crazy? How are we gonna do that? I don't know. Just look around. Is she gonna throw it at it? No shot she mi makes that. That'll work. We bust that, the whole thing comes down. Boost me. They're getting closer. Clementine! Move it! Come on! I'm going as fast as I can. Watch it! Son of a bitch! Damn. Push it real good. <laughs> They'll just stop. They're like, yeah, fuck it. We can't make it up there. It was Carver's baby. Kenny, what? It's not dead. 
Take up the feet. <laughs> oh. They're going to take it. That guy's going to take our water because we took his shit. He's going to take our water. doing he's perfect who's a perfect little man who's the most perfect he doesn't look like carver i don't know girl. you are that's right you are he doesn't look like alvin to me he looks like alvin you think so he doesn't look like damn thing like alvin thank you <laughs> i'm fine i'm fine alvin was What's black as mean? shit clem why don't you give her that coat we found Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? <laughs> Do Dumb. want to hold him? No, I want to yeet him off the fucking bridge. I don't know how. It's easy. Just keep him close and support his head. Sister. <laughs> Rip, she gonna die. Here, she looks great like a zombie. You both should rest. Especially you. When's the last time you slept, Kenny? Oh, about two years ago. I'm fine. But somebody's gotta watch you while mama gets her beauty sleep. You never forget that smell. The new baby smell? New babies have a scent? It's, it is kind of weird that that Kenny just sniffed this woman's baby. <laughs> what the fuck, Kenny? Oh, shit. What are you doing? Listen, I'm sorry. I've got to go. What about Luke? What about him? Aren't you guys... Look, Luke's a nice guy, but it's not like that. And it can't ever be like that. Damn. Oh. Well, that's it then. That's it then. Bye. You know, Jamie... Why you gotta word it like that? Sarah? Why he gotta word it like not that? I'm gonna stick around and... Watch it happen to you too. You know the score. You're a smart kid. But I thought you believed in me. I do. But give it enough time and everyone's luck runs out. Listen, when the shit hits the fan, because it always does, remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. They you make you feel like you do. Like it's all one happy family. But when push comes to shove... I owe these people everything. They've kept me safe. Looked out for me. I wouldn't be here without them. Well, they can't keep you safe forever. No one is safe forever. You take care of yourself. I mean that. Here. Versatility is not overrated. I'm taking this shit. Thanks. Yeah. I, uh... I gotta go. You'd be asleep by now. 
You okay? No. I guess we all got stuff on our minds. Luke. <laughs> Temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we gotta stay put for a while. You know, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore. See if we can find some place to scavenge. Jane left us. What? Jane left. For good. What? When? Just, Just now. now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? Damn it! Damn, poor, poor Luke. Hey, keep it down. Sorry. I... Sorry. Just... Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit. Childish? God damn it, Kenny. You know what? Just... Lay off. No, you put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two could roll around like fucking teenagers. Look, I made a mistake, all right? No, it's not all right. You guys are both acting like jerks. All you guys do is fight. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I fucked up. But you know what, Jane? She made an offer, and Jesus Christ, I needed it, okay? I mean, look around you, okay? Everything is shit, so... Thanks, OMG. <clears throat> now, but this baby, he's what matters now. Got it? So get your shit Honey, together. Where's my baby? Is everything all right? Everything is seen. Fine. Oh shit. We're Thank you. Thank you. You didn't miss anything. Nothing happened. You guys heard everything. Mike just walked that out. A good place to raise him, which ain't here. We gotta push on. We head north. Get to Wellington. The scene is interesting. Thanks. Thanks. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Probably not, though. Or at least it might be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. Mike just walked out of the room. That's all. Clem's got a point. That could be a whole town full of supplies. And not that far from here. A whole lot better than here, anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. Whoa, whoa. What are you talking about? <laughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days at it's the least. It's snowing. We've got that baby formula. And it won't help the rest of us. And what about shelter? We'll freeze out here. Kenny's right. We should leave in the morning. Rebecca is not in any condition to travel. I'll be fine. If there's a chance there's food, we have to risk it. <sighs> okay, fine. If that's what you want. Look, we should all try to get some sleep. Amen, Mike. Amen, Mike. Amen. Preach it, brother. I'm trying to sleep. Mike. Anybody notice Mike is always sleeping? Always thinking about sleep? I am Mike. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Bex. It's going to be all right. <laughs> Got back on the road. On the road again. A prison Mike costume. I need the bandana. You got a good life, kid. You got a good life. Wait. Did I miss? Oh, there she is. I was like, where is she? You alright? She's exhausted. We all are. I can keep going. Use some of that hay, that hay and make like a blanket for her. 
something. Be itchy as fuck, but she'll be warm. We should have stayed put. We should have stayed put until she was in better shape. She wasn't gonna get no better back there. We gotta find food. Get her someplace warm. This look like someplace warm to you? We can still turn back. That's not an option. Everybody hang in there. We gotta keep moving if we're gonna make it to that town before nightfall. You don't even listen to anyone else. You just go on barking orders. You gotta lighten up. Okay, you're pushing them too hard. I'm just doing what has to be done, like always. You're not helping anything by arguing. Don't forget, you agreed with me last night that we should get moving as quick as possible. Should have found some squirrels and shaved them for their fur. Oh. And she just dropped the baby. She just dropped. How about somebody else hold the baby? Let me take the baby. He's okay. You rest for a minute. I'll wash him. Back off, Kenny. She said she doesn't want you to take the baby. Don't be weird about it, okay? I ain't being Shh. weird about it. Yeah, you kind of have been. And not just right now. Well, you should listen to Luke. It's Rebecca's decision. I was just trying to help. Hello? What is this? It's this guy. We shouldn't have taken the shit. We not listening. Arvo? Arvo? Jane and I met him on the observation deck. Before everyone else came. That's the guy? You know this son of a bitch? Well, what's he want? I don't know. He's gonna be pissed. He doesn't look like much. That ain't the point. Hello? Please? He has a sick sister. They might be in trouble. Yeah, I don't think he actually has a sister. Alright. We're all gonna get shot and gunned down here. Is Timmy out here walking? Hello, your name is Clementine. Yes. Hi, yes. Arvo. These are your friends. I'm hoping you can help me now, not like before. All of you can help. What do you need? How can we help? I need uh, uh things for bandages. I need bandages. Are you hurt? No. Nikaki Aruji! Nikaki Aruji! Nikaki Aruji! Fuck! I knew it. Etani? Da. Etani. Skaji im shabani postavli. Here we got prison test. This guy's the real prison, Mike. What did your friend say? I told them you are the ones who robbed me. They think it's funny that you're just a little girl. Robbed? And they want you and your friends to put down the guns. So we can take your things. Whoa, whoa, hang on. What the hell? Why get excited? Clementine, you robbed this guy? All I took were the pills. Jane took your other stuff, not us. You don't have to get even with us. Jane, where's the other woman? Speaking Russian. I do not see a woman who was with you. Where is she hiding? She's gone. She left the group. It's a trap. I know it. Они прячутся. Я знаю, что они прячутся. Damn. This is a real Mexican standoff. All of you, just put your guns down. This will be fine. Find my ass. We have a baby. You have a baby with you? Drop that now or I'm gonna fucking shoot it! I'll do it! Drop it! Drop it! Don't fucking don't move! I said don't move! Bro, we're about to go in a gunfight. She died. She's dead. She's a zombie. No! Rip, everybody just died. Everybody just fucking died. Everybody just fucking died. Holy shit. God damn. <laughs> Who's all dead? Who's all dead? <laughs>
<laughs> all right. All right. Uh, pragmatism left Sarah in the park. Uh, 60% of people left her ass in the park. Uh, we robbed Arvo. Most people did not rob Arvo. I told you this shit was going to come back. Would Rebecca have eaten the baby? Probably. Probably. Uh, selfishness crawled through the ticket booth. You and... Yeah, 50-50, right? Uh, I mean, she was like giving birth to a baby in the apocalypse and didn't have any fucking like care. I'm sure it takes a toll on your body. It makes you really sick. Held the baby. 57% uh, of people held the baby and only 42% of people, 43% of people chose the shooter. I had a feeling when I, when I did it, I was like, we're going to lose a lot of people here because they're going to not be able to differentiate the shot of like me shooting the zombie but I had to do it. I've mean, been giving birth long before sanitary times. Right. But like, also she, like usually people, those people eat. Um, and also like back in those days, uh, childbirth was, uh, was a lot more deadly. So I can totally see her just dying, you know, because she was, she was sick. Anyway, here we go. Let's continue. Oh, we got a mute. Maybe it, between the cold, not eating, drinking, and exhaustion. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she just just died. Like, I don't think she was like sick. Like she got infected with anything. I think she just literally didn't have the strength anymore. Oh well, we did it. We uh we completed two chapters, uh, two episodes. So we I think we have one more left. We're not gonna do it tonight. So we'll be back tomorrow, uh, doing the uh the old. The old streamer Rooney tomorrow. There are five chapters in this game, according to Nuts and Gare from earlier. So we'll be doing we'll be doing the finale tomorrow. Maybe we'll play some Call of Duty early. We'll see how I feel with that. Um, but we'll start this game and maybe the next game in the in the series. Uh, what's the next one anyway? It's like. Forget which order it's in. Uh, the Walking Dead Telltale series. Oh God, it's bright as shit. So the next one's Michonne. Wow, there was a big gap between this one. Um, there was a big gap in this one. Hot take. So, like, the first one, the first one came out in 2012. The second one came, which is the one we're playing now, came out in 2013. And Night Rogue redeemed a hot take. Okay, we can do, we can play hot take. So for those who don't know, I got this game. We can play hot take. Uh, and then in 2016, Michonne came out. And also, the New Frontier, a New Frontier also came out that year. And then the final season came out in 2018. Um, all right, let's see. This isn't really a hot take, but I'm also going to like turn off the sun and, uh, get this playing again. So I can just skip that. So this one says horoscopes are real and relevant. Absolutely not. Um, they're vague as fuck. And they have no relevancy in, in your life. Like they're just made up shit. They don't, they don't do anything. I don't think that's a, I don't think, I don't think horoscopes are a thing. So what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Horoscope, horoscopes are fucking useless. They don't do anything. They're vague as shit on purpose. They're just meant for like people to like believe in random shit. No comment. If you think horoscopes are full of shit, be sure to follow the channel, right? And if you don't think they're full of shit, be sure to follow the channel because, you know, whatever. All right. Uh, ooh, here's a good one. Here's a good one. I'll give you. I'll give you a free one because I just want to do this now. Just that one was really tame. That wasn't really like. 
they're they're really not like they're kind of just useless like hor like your fucking sign oh i'm a i'm a i'm a i'm an aquarius bullshit it doesn't no, there's no bearing on your life right so i prefer chinese food over mexican food come on focus Uh, absolutely not. Mexican food is far superior to Chinese food. Um, so like, like, it's just not even a question. Like, it's just not even a question. Like I, how Chinese food is good. And I love me some good Chinese food, right? But Mexican food is, is like, like goaded like there's so many different flavors and like so many different like spices and herbs no way man like chinese food chinese food is good but like when you find a good mexican mexican food oh man mexican food all day all fucking day all fucking day spices and herbs yeah man what are you talking about like, there's so many different things that they put in mexican food it's so good yeah you can't get general sauce at a mexican restaurant I crave Mexican more than I crave Chinese. You realize Mexican food uses three base spices, right? I'm sorry. Are you a Mexican person? Do you do you do you know their cuisine like the back of your hand? What is this? You're showing how uncultured you are, dude. There's no shot you actually believe that uh, Chinese food is better than uh, fucking. Some of these are like. Really interesting. <laughs> Some of these are... Alright, here we go. Here's one that I think that I can actually be a hot take. Oh, wait. No, we're good. There's no vegetable, fri or vegetable fried rice Mexican rice. Here's one. You should always tip 20%. No. I am. I always tip. So before this gets out there, I always tip. I hate doing it. I don't think I should have to. I think, I think the employer should pay the fucking wage of the person. And if I want to give a tip, that's fine. Uh, but like tipping, tipping has gotten so out of hand. It's like, it's so tipping has gotten so much for like the most minuscule shit, right? Like, like the last place we were at, she was great. She did a fantastic job. So she deserved a nice tip, but like you shouldn't, I should not be subsidizing your fucking employees wages. I just like, I just, Europe does it way better that way. Pay your fucking employees the, the right way. Like that's why the whole tipping thing came about, right? It's because like employers just didn't want to have to fucking fucking pay a livable wage to to service people. I like I I think I think twenty percent is ridiculous. We should pay more and not have to tip. Is, Darren gets mad at me because I don't know how to tip. I go based off the total price. Tip based off your total before tax. I just tip based on how I feel, <laughs> right? Sometimes I tip more than 20%, sometimes I don't. It all really depends. But like, always tipping 20% is ridiculous. Like I remember when it was like, not even close to 20%. Like if you tip 20% back in the day, you were tipping like a fucking, you were a baller dropping fat stacks, right? Like 15% was considered a lot. So like tipping 20%, a fifth of the meal cost doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Uh, and don't even get me started about like, if I go in, if I, if I go into the store, right. To do takeout and then I go pick it, I drive all the way there. I go pick it up and I go out and I only thing I do is I, I, I pick it up at the counter. Don't fucking hit me with that tip shit. Don't fucking spin that little iPad around for me to tip. I'm fucking choosing no every single time. Like, don't fucking do that. No, man. I paid for the price of the food. That's what I, I paid for. I did all the fucking work. 
I drove here aside from making it, but I already paid you for that. So I'm doing all the work. For instance, when we went out to the movies and had a matinee thing, the total price came out to be almost $6. I went to tip like $20 and asked me how much I tipped before she came back. And I told him, he was like, change that now. <laughs> oh man. That's funny. Sometimes I, I like when we went to eat sushi, I tipped. It was like all you can eat sushi and it came out to be like $64 for us. I just paid a hundred. So I gave them a lot of money. <laughs> like I gave them almost $40 in a tip, but like it's really good. And they're really on top of shit. And I was just like, here, I'll give them this for that. So that, and I just wanted to like leave. I didn't want to have to like wait for them to come around and do the sign thing and take my card and like the whole thing. So I was like, here, he's like, do you have any idea how much a tip was? I was like, no, sometimes you can make someone's day. Yeah. I remember when I was younger, I tipped the pizza man a ton of money because I misheard the price of like what the lady said. So I don't remember what it was. Like, we'll just say it was like $18 for the pizzas, which seems really low, but we'll just say it was $18 for the pizzas. And I heard $38, so I gave him 40 for the pizzas. So I made that guy's day. I didn't even know I did it. So until somebody was like, yo, that was really nice of you. And I was like, what? He's like, you tipped a lot. And I'm like, I did. So yeah, that was, that was my, my thing. So I tip, I don't think you should always have to tip. And I certainly don't think you should always have to tip 20%. That seems ridiculous. But another one of these is like, Jacob deserved to end up with Bella. I don't fucking know. I didn't, I didn't watch or read the books. So like, I don't, I don't know about that one. Like, what do you guys say? That's all, that's all up to you guys. Agree. Is Jacob the, is Jake, wait, is Jacob the werewolf? I feel like Jacob was the, if Jacob was the werewolf, then yes. Because fuck the sparkly vampire guy. I, I, I just assume. I would go with the werewolf. If it's a badass werewolf, then yes. Because werewolf, right? Werewolf, superior va vampire. Um. The aisle seat in, on the airplane is better than the window seat. For me, yeah. I get a little bit of extra leg room. So for me, I would say yes. Uh, the downside, the, the downside of the aisle seat is that if anybody, um, has to get up to go to the bathroom, then you have to get up. Whereas with the window seat, then you could just sit next. So like, I don't know for like a normal sized person window seat all day for me, who's a little bit taller. I like to have the little extra, extra little bit of leg room. I could stick my leg out a little bit. Um, so I get, I, for me, that's kind of like my thought process, but like overall, in, if I had like adequate leg room, I would, I would choose window all day, every day. Uh, just because I could sit down. I don't generally have to get up to go to the bathroom. So I just sit down and then I, nobody bothers me and I'm good. So yeah, I think that's it. Uh, we night road got like four hot takes although they were all really mild takes to be honest with you i don't think any of those were really hot although the chinese and mexican food one was more spicy than i thought it would be so i will see you all tomorrow we'll be live at least at, at least we'll be live at eight o'clock p.m eastern uh to play more of the walking dead season two and then on to the next walking dead game uh but we might be early live for call of duty We'll start Walking Dead at 8. Regardless, I'll see you at 8, hopefully. If not, have a great weekend. And uh, follow me on Twitter or join the Discord to know if we're going to be live early. So, anyway, uh, hope you all have a great one. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you all being here. Good night.